Hey guys, welcome back. Today will be part two of my ADSB aircraft location plotting with the $10 USB dongles. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. I have ADSB scope on the screen plotting uh, local aircraft around me. This is using the Comet Discone antenna that I uh, unboxed in a previous video. I have to say the results with this thing are pretty impressive considering it is not intended for ADSB only. It's a really broadband antenna marketed for scanning use. I'm thinking this thing is just about a perfect fit for our software defined radios. I'm absolutely tickled with the results. So the, my antenna is located inside my attic and right now it's under almost I'd say 14 inches of snow. So you have the building materials and the snow to contend with and uh, a Comet Disco and antenna that isn't exclusively suited for ADS-B. I'm getting, in most cases, uh, I can push around the 150 to 200 kilometer range with no problem. And my attic isn't that high either, so uh, depending on the direction and how many trees and buildings and whatnot are in the way, I do get some broken signals, but all in all, I'm pretty impressed. So uh, I have to give the, the antenna a bit of a thumbs up. So what we have, we have, this is the real-time aircraft location decoding. And uh, this is the raw data coming through. We have some aircraft not reporting ADSB because they're simply not equipped. Uh, in most cases, it's the small aircraft, the Embraer and the CRJ. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I've run into some troubles with. This is what serves up the data, ADSB Sharp. And I'm using a R820T chipset uh, dongle. Or them on eBay for about ten dollars and fifty cents. When on this particular PC, I've had a lot of troubles with this, and what I'm found is I have to change the port. And in some cases, the port seems to get hung up on the PC. So if I stop the programs and restart them, I don't even get an error. It just doesn't work. So uh, I bump the port number up by one, and all is well. So. Your, your IP address that this thing is serving to is going to always be a local IP and you simply bump that port up to a different number you've got lots to choose from and go on under other and go network setup and just match the port number to here and you're good to go so if your setup is like mine and a little finicky some days that's how you can get it back working that's pretty much it for today's update. That's what I found to be my number one problem. Um, I'm finding the, the load maps and uh, background feature is working now. I was able to get a new background image. And uh, yeah, no complaints. I just click on the aircraft and we can get the information from it. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I have zero complaints actually for the price, for uh, for a scanner antenna and these uh, USB dongles, great way to plot uh, your own uh, air traffic control on your PC at all times. You can pipe this out uh, to wherever you want the raw data and process it however you like. And it does record logging, so if you're interested, uh, if you're into that kind of thing where you want to know exactly what aircraft registration and call sign you've seen before. Uh, it's it's all there in the logs. So. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to report that. I'm glad you could join me today. Hopefully this helps someone with their ADS-B decoding. And uh, I have to say, these $10 dongles, man, can we push them a long way and do a lot of things with them. So going forward, I'll, I'll maybe do some digital uh, decoding of some some signals you haven't seen yet on this channel. We'll, uh, we'll see how far we can push this thing.